Okay, step one, make sure it's really dead. Now watch and learn. Oh, God! Say that for the first day, because we started the film with the most difficult scenes first, which is the grandma scene. What was running through my mind is, can I get it done in time? There was about 20 over shots in one day, and also I have the at the back of my mind that I need to take care of the emotions of the actors and guide them every step of the way. That is when you realize how difficult the task is to lead people. The decoration in the room was quite simple and the background was quite plain most of the time. So we tried to create layers in the image by arranging the items in the background and the foreground in relation to the character so the shot will look more interesting. So how we planned the shots was in any shots that uh, do not need the grandma, we will just let the grandma rest. Right. So I always make it a point to have, have this uh, thing going For any framing that doesn't need the actors there, do not keep them there right. Take them away, let them rest So I was constantly running through the day, giving information Okay, take a rest for 5 minutes, take a rest for 10 minutes Okay, if you're not needed, now rest, rest as much as possible That is very important for the actors because they are shouldering a lot of emotions on set You can't carry an difficult emotion throughout the whole day is very very difficult for actors and you need to have this understanding that actors are humans too. Thanks to the amount of rehearsals and the shortness and a lot of things that we have already nailed down we were able to have quite a smooth shoot. Right? I plan always to roll less than four. Explain as much as possible, get them in the mood of that roll and I only get that particular shot. Just that nice 5 seconds, good, cut, move on. Most of the time, I got the shot that I want and I know how to edit it because we really edited it beforehand in the test film phase. For photography side of filmmaking, it involves a lot of cheating because in order to achieve a cinematic framing, a lot of times we need the actors to actually sit or stand at an impossible angle Sometimes we need them to sit on apple boxes in order to achieve the height that we want in the shot. And sometimes we want the placement of certain object in the room to be different than how it originally is. During the shoot, even your crew laugh at the work that's happening in front of them. They are watching it. As soon as you hear that, it's just music to your ears as a director during the script, even for a script writer, when they hear it as well, when a producer hears that, I think that's one of those hidden gems of filmmaking, to see something that you have in your head, you think people might laugh, people might get your comedy, but the thing is you haven't proven it yet, and that's the, until the day, then your crew members are the first audience to watch your film, because they watch it live, and how it's being made. As you can see, if you really put so much effort into it, it really shows uh, at the end of the day that things will do work out, things have to work out.
Yes, my old professor, Paul. So proud of us.